Hello everyone, welcome back to The Rebel. And welcome to the space station, which is the second level. Yeah, so we went from dinosaur infested Belarus. Okay. Novus Interstellar Space Station, located in the large Magellanic Cloud. Your mission is to find the password for the quantum computer. Hurry up, Xenia, and so there's this quantum computer in Belarus. And okay, we've got different weapons now. We've got this. This is not how you use an iron sight properly. Ooh, this is awkward. So we've got a quantum computer from Tyrannosaurus infested Belarus. And now we have to find the password in a, in a space station. Okay, I can't see anything when I'm, when I'm aiming like this. So is, is that even um, an active. Okay, did I just reload like this? And is that even an active killer robot? Because I don't really seem to be doing anything to it. And oh, I've got a got a shotgun. So, well, wow, this shotgun literally takes away one third of the screen. We've got a knife. We've got whoa, holy hell! We've got we've got some sort of plasma gun. And what is up with you guys? Anyway, I'm going to kill you, if that's possible. Yeah, these guys, they take forever to kill, but I also take forever to be killed. And is, do I have a, I have a, a bayonet on this. Is this, this looks like some sort of Great War shotgun. The knife again, I've got this. I, I don't even know what this is. But I, I guess I can kill this guy. But the thing is, there's there's very little feet. Okay, let's just run away for now from the torch wielding killer robot. Yeah, it's getting more quiet. I've got this this particle filter. Well, it's not it's not a particle filter. It's just a like a like a space image. I can reload while walking. That's good. And it just disappeared, which is good, I guess. So wow, this this game. Oh, slowly turning around. I'm not quite sure how much ammunition I have because I did have an ammunition counter in the first stage, but not in this one. So, and are you just going to? Oh, oh, oh! Now you're angry. And I like how I can't shoot when my gun is empty, but I can still do. I can still do the, the screen shaking effect. This this game is so weird. So here's some here's some pickups. I think those are pickups. That I forgot to read what that actually is. Health pack. I guess those are all good. Oh oh, so here's my ammunition, but I can't see it because all my weapons are colored dark so it just blends in perfectly that's kind of like the twin brother of the white the right text on the very light gray menu so opening screen so only three magazines left and here i've got 36 magazines i think those are magazines um I, I've, I've actually no idea how effective these weapons are because you don't really get a whole lot of feedback and all of them seem to take forever to kill anything. And there's another motorcycle. And this, not only is there another motorcycle, there's the exact same spaceship. Oh, automatic door. That we did have in that other stage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. and I can float, which I guess makes more sense no now because we're in, s in space. Wow, it is powerful. To turn back to the spaceship, Magnus. The best is kill them all, Zanya. Okay, so I guess. Okay, now. I guess we can actually take. Okay, so we can take the bike. Could we do that in the last mission? Well, even if we could, there's not much point in doing so because the bike's right next to the ship and the ship is where you need to go anyway. But whatever. Let's jump a little bit. Hope that doesn't kill us. 
Oh, we can actually use this. This is quite interesting. At least I think we can open oh, 10 controls. So, and there's no, as usual, there's no audio feedback, which is, uh, get, oh, this is, this is more difficult. I'm not going to be able to make that without falling into, it. where, is this, this is outer space? I'm not entirely sure. Let's just try to not fall into space. So, uh, break. So, there's a guy over, the, you know what, this isn't, in, this isn't actually, wait, I could use something over here. So, let's, oh, we can actually take the elevator. That's interesting. Okay, I guess, well, this is jiggering a lot. And uh, what the? Did I just fall through the elevator? Or did I just jump again accidentally? Whatever, I'm not going to move until we reach our destination. And wow, this, this shaking effect is terrible. And there's another bike. That's really nice. So you don't even have to take your bike. Can I, can I use you? Pl please, uh, come on. Ah, uh, why is your hit? It's not really a hitbox, isn't it? Can I? No, I just. There are invisible walls around this. But, yeah, forget it. I'm just going to walk. This is just the. This thing is made out of glass, and there's this 762 number just in space. Okay. Oh, I guess we got a pistol here. That's that's great. Is that all there is? To, to this stage here. And they actually give you a motorcycle to to drive that distance. I'm pretty sure turning with that motorcycle would take longer than actually just walking there. Come on, let me get past the... Oh, I forgot you can you can jump through everything. And this was probably a mistake. Yeah, I just, just jumped into space. This was definitely a mistake. And am I falling into the sun? Maybe... No, that, no, no, no. That looks more like sand of the galaxy or so. Um, looks like, uh, that, that effect's actually not half bad. Uh, looks like the space station already gone and we're in space. Luckily we can breathe, but we don't, res and there's no sound effects because there's no sound in space. Makes sense to me. Anyway, I'm afraid we're not going to get really far here, so I'm going to see you back in, in a moment. Welcome back. This time we're not going to bother with any of that nonsense. We're just going to straight... We're just going to go straight through one of those corridors. And yeah, the shotgun is definitely the most effective weapon. It seems to be stronger than pretty much anything else we have. It also seems to be reasonably accurate. Okay, so here is a living room. Uh, or dormitory. Here's another number. Or oh, the could just be that space number. Not quite sure. Anyway, this was a waste of time. There doesn't really seem to be any point in going downstairs, and I'm def definitely not going to jump. I'm not going to end up in space again. So let's just take that. I, I don't think it has any effect, but who cares. Yeah. Here we... Are you just running away? Whatever. Oh, you're coming back now. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm going to take a health pack here. I may as well do it. Not that I think it has any effect. At least no, no effect. I c oh, okay. Uh -huh. so let's reload this. And I guess we can't. Whatever. May as well take that later, I guess. So, still have plenty of ammunition left here. Oh, you're back. Yeah, you can essentially just stand here and tank it. Because so far all enemies have been a lot weaker than I am. And they they hit you really easily. So, oh. But look at this. This guy just took... I think he might actually have been killed with two hits. And the third hit might not have even been necessary. I could just jump down here, but I'm not going to do any jumping. Here is a fancy computer. Nice setup. Looks like a Mac keyboard. Then again, if you can afford a space station, you can probably afford... Max as well can't face through all of this, which is not really all that surprising. So the question is, where are we supposed to go? So I can I can I step into space? Maybe, but I don't really want to. 
So I can phase through almost all of this here. The thing is, there wasn't really anything in both of those directions. And the thing is, what what's the point of the motorcycle? Because there isn't any real point in just going into these corridors here using the cycle. It's way too complicated for that. So, um, question is: Is there something over there? Maybe we're just going to check it out again. This time this should go a lot faster, I hope. And well, this this lack of sound is just unnerving, really. I like how these soldiers don't just stand there, do nothing. Oh, look! I don't. Uh, was that a headshot? Because I killed this guy with one hit, or maybe he took spread damage from spread damage from the shots I fired at the other guy. Maybe. I don't really care. Just pick this up. Because I can. And let's uh, let's just take out those robots. May as well do it. I want to check what's behind them. There seems to be some stuff. But I expected that not to be the direction I'm actually supposed to go. Because... Can I... Start to shoot you from a distance? I guess so. Not sure how effective my gold painted futuristic particle rifle or whatever that is actually is. This one here, it doesn't really look all that effect. Ooh, gangster reload. It doesn't really look all that. It doesn't look all that effective, but it did allow me to kill a T Rex, so that's something. This one here just seems to be ridiculously weak. Well, I guess I could kill those guys from distance, so I may as well do it to save some shotgun ammo. There we go. And while that, that shaking gives me a headache. I'm pretty sure it's not a wise idea to fire that many shots in a space station. But what do I know about that? So there's more guys. I think it's just more of those sphere. Uh, there's definitely soldiers. There's yeah, I've, I've fought those before. There's also more of those sphere guys, and I have no idea what kind of stuff that is. So that guy died with three hits, and so let's take out you. I like how you're you're in this position. If, if you if you're presenting concept art, then you use that kind of a pose. Okay, so I guess, so I've got ghost soldiers and, oh yeah, and those killer robots, so that's, I don't know, if, are those, whatever, there we go, yeah, they really have a hard time killing me, for whatever reason, I mean, it's, I guess it's nice, it makes it, the game easier, Allows me to finish it faster. And is, is this just a, a big pile of enemies? Oh, almost thought I was out of ammo there. But I evidently am not, I think. Uh, can't really see anything here. But may as well just kill all those guys. Yep. Uh, oh, it's just two of those guys on top of one another. And there's just a big stockpile of, of resources. Which is great, I guess. Okay, these... There we go. And here we go. Yeah, those, those other weapons, they just seem to be so useless. Come to the shotgun. Could you please die? You're not even attacking me. That's that's splendid. And here we go. And damn, the recoil is... It's insane for... Oh, that was a very square-shaped cloud of smoke. And now the sound effects are gone for some reason. Let's just pick up all the stuff. And the frame rate just dropped to the bottom bottom right now for no real reason. 
But never mind that. Let's just ignore this guy here. And pick up this stuff here, I guess. I'm really not sure where I'm supposed to go because there's only four directions. This one here and then the two two side corridors, but they didn't really seem to have anything. And the one from the elevator, but the thing is that that just leads me to that gun. It doesn't really seem to be anything, but then again, maybe it's a cryptic thing again, just like last time where the quantum computer was just a flat screen TV on an Age of Discovery sailing ship. So yeah, whatever. I guess I'm going to see you back once I actually discover something worth discovering here. The last window in the space station's hangar and you shall find the password, Xenia N. Okay, so she just said, found it. The password is the very end of the back hangar. Go to the last window, the space station's hangar and you shall find the password. Okay. I guess if you just wait a while, she just gives you the hint, just like last time. The, quest the question is, where's actually the hangar? Because if this supposed to be the hangar, maybe, maybe not. Or I guess the hangar is upstairs, because that looks most hangar-like and does have all those spaceships. So I guess that is the hangar. Yeah, sorry for that met message getting cut off, but it just popped up out of nowhere. And there was no real hint that it would happen. So yeah, I guess I'm going to go all the way back upstairs and I'll see you at the hangar. What I believe to be the hangar, that is. Okay, here we go. So, took the motorcycle, obviously. Can you please, no, no, I don't want to go into space. So, how do I get off the motorcycle? Oh, I actually have got, they show me the speed. Even, and I'd actually, apparently I am moving even when I'm not moving, but never mind that. So question is, how do I get off the motorcycle without jumping? Oh, looks like I can't even jump. So, oh yeah, this this is just great, isn't it? It is great. So, can I just uh, please let me just let me just search the hangar. We probably just have to bump into a wall or a window, and then we just win. Uh, oh, those physics. Oh, okay, I guess that was it indeed. So, and there's there's no sound effect or anything. It looks like. The point where I got the message that I should take the motorcycle was just one step away. But I'm pretty sure I touched that point before, but it seems like there you probably have to get that message before you can finish the level, I, I guess. Anyway, looks like this isn't going to end anytime soon. But it doesn't really matter all that much because you can select all the three levels there are directly from the menu, so there's no real point in actually completing the level and doesn't really seem that you carry over anything. So I guess that's it for now and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.